Hello, it's Brackstar, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, off camera, I worked on this puzzle a little bit, and... I did not figure it out quite yet. So, we're gonna try, um, the last attempt of what I was trying to do. But this time, we're gonna have, like, a platform right here. So the idea is that we'll have a floating platform. So we actually disable this for now. So we can preserve our energy. What? I don't have a weapon? Well, it's used to disable and enable. I really wish that it didn't use durability of your weapon if you disable and enable stuff. It's a bit annoying, honestly. Okay, so our next step is we want to lift this up. Wait, first we need to activate you. Then we're gonna lift you up as high as possible. Okay, then our next step is to grab the water ball. But I messed it up because I... Because I messed it up. Okay, we'll just wait patiently. I don't think he'll run out of power by the time I try to do this. I just don't see how a water ball will stop this, you know? But this is my last idea I have for now. Okay, we'll lift this up as high as possible. Okay, next, we're gonna send up to this platform. Okay, now we're gonna grab the ball again and try to force it in. Maybe we need to put it in on the top. No, that does not work. Because the mechanism is still spinning. So that did not stop the mechanism, just uh, did not stop it. Which I expected, honestly, because that literally would not make sense to me in my mind. So for now, we're going to move on from this puzzle and try and do the other puzzle, which is over here. And then we'll return to it later in the video. There we go. Boom. Boost. Okay, for this one, let's see, so we have a water wheel right here, and it looks like it's going to power this up. Now, can we move this water wheel any closer? Doesn't seem we can. I feel like what, all we have to do here is just extend the water wheel. Like that. Then it should power that up, and then we just need to figure out a way to transfer the electricity. Oh, water will transfer the electricity. Because water is conducti conducted. Well, not clean, purified water, but, you know, the stuff inside of water. And I'm assuming this water isn't clean. Is it 100% pure? Yeah. It isn't, which means it has some kind of contaminants in it. Which means that's why it's conductive. Okay. That was terrible, but apparently that still worked. Cool. Nice. Well done, Link. Now you just need to open the remaining two. Yes, we do. Just two more. Just two more. This shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. So let's uh, see. So this one, this one is the one that we're struggling with. So maybe we should try heading towards the basement one next. I keep forgetting to switch the HUD back. I'm sorry about that. If you prefer the map and stuff, I personally do. So I want to see if there's anything else down here. You know, maybe we're approaching this from the wrong angle. Yeah, there's nothing below there. So let's quickly try and get back to the island so we can actually slide right here. Wait, can we actually make it up? Can we send from here? No, we cannot. Luckily, we can just let go and go back to the bottom one. So the one that we need to get to next is the basement. And then we'll save that one we can solve last. There we go. Now let's get our ultimate weapon out. Boom. Not even a chance right here. You always gotta attack before they can. 
Ooh, that was super close too. Nice. Thank you very much. So I believe this is the entrance. Yeah, that was the entrance. So we need to figure out how to get into the basement. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? So it's right here. Do you think that area shows that we can go into the basement right there? Because if that's the case, then how are we supposed to get down there? Oh, I think we could just drop in between, right? Drop in between the goo. It'd be fine, because the goo isn't physically harmful to us. So there is a gear around here somewhere. Well, not a gear, a water whale that we need to find. According to our map, it's right here. So it's in basement one. There's a lot of sludge. No wonder everything is all polluted and stuff. Wait, this doesn't count as the water temple? Why did the map change? This is the Wellspring Island? Oh, because that's the beginning of the water temple. Duh. Okay, so we just need to make sure that we stay on basement one level. And we should be able to find the wheel we're looking for. And to ensure that, let's just actually just glide down here again. Right here, this was the basement, wasn't it? Do you think we can just ascend into it? Because I feel like there's no other way in there. Okay, it's letting us ascend right here. So we'll just ascend, and if it takes us to the top, then that's wrong. I don't think it should. Yeah, it didn't. Awesome. Because we're actually properly in the basement now. Does ice get rid of goo? It does not. What we could actually can do is take the Zonite Sword and Opalify it. So if we get our Opal out, it would probably be best used, right? Because we used Opal pretty recently. No, it's not. Okay, so Opal, Opal, Opal. Where are you? Oh, we have an Ice Key Cyball. Could use that for elements. I'm not seeing any opals around here. We picked up a ton of opals. There we go. Perfect. Strong Donite Sword. There we go. Now we have another opal wand. So down here, it's very dark. And that spikes, so you want to avoid that. So you think the puzzle right here is just to put this right here. We don't necessarily need it to hover right now. We get to the other side. Ooh, but here's where it becomes a problem. Okay, I see. So let's move this about like here-ish. And we'll attach this with, to the ball. Like so. Then move this further away. Then how are we going to make that jump? We could climb the walls and then jump up from there. I think that would be a better idea. Then we can actually glide across. And then deliver the ball to the next section. So let's get you up here. Okay, please attach. Then we're going to send onto this platform. Like so. Perfect. Now we're going to use Ultra Hand. This is a lot of switching back and forth. Uh oh, this has been activated too because I'm standing on it. There we go. Then we could probably just jump to this one. Next, let's just grab the ball. Thank you very much. And you put it in here. Oh, but it's going to fall out. Oh, we need a hover stone to hold it in place. Nicely. So let's actually deactivate that hover stone that we have active right now. These ones as well. That way we can regain our energy. And let's just clear out some sludge that we see right over here. Okay. Next up, 
what we want to do is take this and combine it with our ball. And this should hold the ball in place while we use it. There we go. Perfect. Now, where is Prince Sidon? Prince Sidon, I summon you. Where is he? I guess he can't teleport. Oh, maybe we need to release the fire for him to come through. For that, we're going to need a hoverstone, aren't we? Or is there any hoverstones? I don't want that one anymore. Oh, wait. That one's a, a chest. I did not realize that. I thought it was one of the original hoverstones we had. Wait, are you serious? I can't reach these anymore? Okay, we're gonna have to deactivate that for a second so I can let um, Sidon in. Okay, Prince Sidon, are you over here? There we are. Okay. I forget, you can't teleport unless you're in your spirit form. Like all the other companions. Okay, there we go. Boom. Perfect. Now, as for you, I need your ability. And then, slash. Perfect. So that just leaves one more, and it's the puzzle that we can't, aren't able to solve yet. Alright, just one more, Lee. Okay, we could probably just ascend back up. I don't want to have to climb all the way back around. And that chest, that bonus chest, I don't really care about it right now because we have enough weapons. So let's go back to that area with the waterfall. And see if we can figure out how to solve that puzzle. Does it have to do with um, side on Slash, maybe? Or maybe there's a gear that we're missing. You know? Okay, we don't want to go over there. Over here. This is the puzzle we haven't solved yet. It really can't be that complicated because the other puzzles were so easy. You can see that it's frozen. And let's just quickly activate our hover bow. Because I just want to see what it looks like inside. Because I know that we cleared out the sludge. Indoors, but... Oh, wait a second. That's a, a switch. Really, all we need to do is just hit it with the bow. I thought that was the water wheel itself, but it's not because, ah, oh, this entire time I had the puzzle solved. Okay, so all we gotta do is just patiently wait for this, and we should be able to, because I bet you just needed to get the water ball in to clear the sludge. Okay, but we can't reach it from here. So, this is the one thing I did not try it before. Oh, oops, I did not mean to do that. There's one thing I did not try before. Is I did not try to get the arrow higher up. So I didn't visually see that there was just a, a switch that we could hit in there. So we just simply need to jump. Okay, let's wait again. I mean, it might be easier just to wait for us. And since the low gravity is there, we get a lot of time, air time. I bet a lot of people were yelling in the comments that you could just do that. See, that one was actually really easy once you figured it out. Okay, so we need Sidon. Sidon? Hello? There you are. We all know that this is really too difficult. Boom! This has got to be the fastest temple we've ever done. Literally, one and a half videos for a temple. And not even that, because we didn't get to the temple till later in the video. Okay, they're all filled up. Now we just need to use the sensor device. Yeah, but as soon as we use it, it's gonna summon a monster. We already know the drill here. Let's make sure that we're prepared for a boss fight. Yeah, I feel like we're prepared enough. We've got three bows, we should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate the middle mechanism. As Sidon says so. Boom. Okay. And wait for it. And boom. 
Okay, let's go. I feel like the electric boss that we did, or the bone boss, that one looks really hard. But like the first boss we did for the wind tempo, that boss was really easy. So I wonder how difficult the water tempo will be. It's not, because there's a monster. Also, you haven't gotten your secret stone yet. Whoa. The muck for rock. Cool. This strange creature must be responsible. Let's destroy it. Oh no, it's creating the sludge. Monsters? Whoa. Get ready. Let's go. Okay, we need to immediately get our our shield ready. And just get ready to aim for it, I guess. I'm assuming what we're trying to do is like then slap it like that. Okay, it worked. It worked, but they did a lot of damage, too. Okay, let's just try and hit the boss. Okay, we should try and freeze you. Actually. Okay, we failed to do that. Um, okay, that was a terrible first attempt so far. Okay, let's just heal a little bit. Okay, we need a weapon that we can swing fast. That's for sure. Okay, get ready with the slash. Oh no, what is this? Jump! Whoa! Okay, purple sludge is bad. Got it. I already seen that. There we go. We actually got it this time. Okay, maybe we should try using a bow and freezing it that way because it'd be easier to aim. And maybe we'll use the ice key cyborg. That way we could just get it like that. And then we can get a more powerful weapon like our Soldier 3 Blade and just swing it. Swing it away. Okay, this boss is actually really powerful. Uh, okay, we need to heal again. Okay. Okay, this, so this boss is definitely not to be taken lightly. Okay, we need a faster swing weapon. I think we might just equip the boomerang for now. And it's slash. There we go, perfect. Okay, so we need a better, faster weapon here. We have the opal rod. Oh, the flame emitter club has a range to it. This might be good. And our hydrant shield broke. So we need to switch our shields like immediately. The ice breath lies little shield, I guess. Okay, this dude just runs and runs, doesn't he? It might be better to actually do aerial shots and just spam them with a bow. I feel like that's what the game's trying to tell us to do. Because we're not getting any damage on in at all. Okay, our water shield broke. The water shield is handy. I just hope it works on other attacks, you know? Oh, I missed. What? Are you serious? You can't jump over that? Okay, I need your water shield now. We need to make sure that we're aiming towards you. Okay, that should have hit. It did, it did not hit. Okay, this boss is really hard because we don't have any fast swinging weapons. Oh, Reaper is. Reaper is, right? Okay, yeah, it is. There we go. Boom. Okay, let's immediately switch to a bow. And since we have a lot of aerial shots we could just do, we should just spam them fire through or something like that. That's not doing any damage at all. That's not good at all. See, what do we have that would make our bow a lot more powerful? Maybe amber? That barely does any damage at all. Ooh, what if we use the king scale? 
Oh! That hurt it a lot. I guess that makes sense. The water would damage it a lot. Okay, let's just try and swing this thing away. Okay, we've reached the second phase. That's good. Oh no, now you're surrounding yourself with sludge? Okay, great. Okay, luckily we do have an opal oven. So that makes sense. So what we want to do is fire it with water. So the next time we have the opportunity, we want to fire it with water. Wait, that worked? No way that worked. That should work. We're, we're supposed to use a shield for that. Uh-oh. I should have waited. Okay. That does not work. You cannot jump over that. It's unavoidable. Oh, maybe we need to shield that. That could be possible. We're running low on food. I don't even know what to eat at this point. The mushroom skewer plus another mushroom skewer. The sludge makes it hard to move. Maybe we can do something to clear it away. Okay. Okay, let's try this. There we go. There we go. Now let's get the bow ready. Oh, you're gonna jump in the air now. That's okay. So let's try a water weapon like this. Okay, that did not stun you. Maybe it was the king scale that did it. I don't know what did it, honestly. We're just gonna keep sp spamming it with a bunch of weapons. Okay, there we go. So definitely the water weapons work very effectively. Oh, I don't want to use a weak weapon like that. Let's use the Soldier 3 Blade and like spin it into oblivion a little bit. Okay, we barely got any shot wow that time. Okay, he's gonna activate the Sharky Boy again. I do not want wings. Sorry, Julian. You're not really gonna help that much in this boss battle. Okay, jump right there. Okay, we're waiting for you to charge us, really. Oh no, our shield already broke. Okay, you actually can jump it. If you jump it, like, precisely. Okay, I get it. Okay, let's just spam it with the bow, like we have been. Oh! If you hit it like that, it works. Okay, cool. So let's just keep trying doing that. So I guess you just need to hit it in the head, and then it stuns? That's actually pretty good. Ooh, nice, with all that extra stamina. It's so worth upgrading stamina, because you can just do the spin attack over and over again. It's pretty great, honestly. So you're gonna spam some more sludge, but that's not gonna help you really, because we're just gonna go into the air again and get an eye shot in. There we go. Okay, it's gonna be hard to catch, but that doesn't really matter because we have bows. Oh, but we have a weaker bow now. Okay, awesome. Let's actually spin you into oblivion and boom. Okay, that boss wasn't actually too bad. It was just that one attack that was really hard to dodge. But that was pretty fun for a boss. And I like the water shield ability. It's actually pretty useful. Not that the other abilities aren't useful, but Chulin's just useful for traversal and... The, uh, other person, I don't remember their name. I played this game in chunks, so I don't quite remember it, the people at all. Well, the one who gives us the electric attack is pretty useful, honestly. Yay, a heart container! Honestly, I was expecting this boss to take the full 40 minutes like it usually does for these kind of things, but nope, it did not. And now Sidon can have their secrets done. Oh wait, I want to grab this heart crystal first. I mean this heart container. 
A rare item that stores, restores health and adds an extra heart. Thank you very much. So I want to see if we can figure out how to get the Master Sword. Honestly. Once we conquer all four of the temples. Because I assume we can get the Master Sword in this game. Also, it's time for a cutscene. And before we leave Zora's domain, we should get that tear that we saw. Sidon, my cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior. And a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing. Yes, and it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The demon king appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But Rahu, the first king of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the demon king, Rahu entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that, when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight along 
It's my destiny to fight by your side. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. of water. Behold, this is my new power. Ah! Sage of water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We're partnered up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. Yay, the king's been restored. Oh. Link, welcome back. Link, have you seen? The sludge has vanished without a trace. Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Zora's domain are safe ones again. No words can express the depths of my gratitude. Thank you here from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. As for you, Sidon, though Link certainly played a key role, your own efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. I have always believed in you, Sidon. Now you have un unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Oh. Father, this is so sudden. Oh. No, it only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sidon, my son, it's time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take it as hand, and as one, lead Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me, the king?
Thank you, Father. I will not let you down, I swear. That's the spirit, my boy. Now accept your place upon the throne. The finest servant in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this monumentous occasion. Silence, everyone. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, the exalted Dwarfin. From this moment, I shall be king of the Zora. <laughs> At the same precious moment, I ask you also open your hearts to your new queen, my beloved Yona. Sure. The slash threatens us once no more. He once again freed to swim through crystal waters beneath the azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon, our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who call the Domain home. I'm so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of the Domain. However, that does not mean that all matters have been resolved. But you are, my love. So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We should not allow that. It is now time for the Zora to help Link prevail. Everyone, I ask it, you'll lend him your strength. <laughs> Doing just that shall be the first hack that I and my partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. <laughs> first things first, my friend. Regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda, when I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of that woman, the sage of time. I'm certain it was far more than a passing resemblance. That was Princess Zelda, whom you and I know so well. As for Princess Zelda, who appeared in the domain and attacked father, could it be that princess we saw in my ancestor's era and the one the father saw in this era are not one and the same? Hmm, questions upon questions. It is painfully clear that we have no choice but to find the princess and ask her directly. Link, as I just ascended the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. So I shall continue gathering information about our lost Princess Zelda. Please promise that you shall once again grace our fair Zora's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. Huh. Whatever comes to pass, know that you and I will always be connected by the power of the sage, no less. The Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Proof of the Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Sidon. Sidon of the Zora. Main quest complete. Awesome. Regional phenomena has been updated. Anyways, unfortunately that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.